Hey, hello everyone, and welcome to today's webinar on software defined storage with OpenE to Shiba Gulf and Velocity. Before we begin, I would like to take a moment to thank our ecosystem partners who have helped make this webinar possible. We are thrilled to have these partners with us today, and we are excited to showcase their expertise and solutions during this webinar. The idea behind this session was to bring a unique concept of building your own storage with the current industry leaders on storage. And as a velocity, we will be acting as the system builders to collectively bring the best solution on storage to the Qatari market. Let's get started. Uh, here, I would like to kind of introduce Mr. Mohammed Zishan, Technical Services Manager at Toshiba Gulf, to take his part in this webinar. Please, Mr. Mohammed. Thank you, uh, Bashar. Uh, good afternoon and salam alaikum, everyone. Uh, this is Mohammed Zishan from Toshiba Gulf FZD. So I'll be sharing a short presentation on the software defined storage. So the basic idea uh, for this uh, from, I mean, from Toshiba's perspective is to create an ecosystem of uh, a solution where the, the technology can be utilized in such a way that you can build your own storage. So the concept of build your own storage is not to limit yourself to a certain product or certain uh, uh, available uh, options. So it's to give you a better overreach on uh, what products are available and how you can develop your own storage based on your requirement and based on your uh, solution. So in that uh, solution, how Toshiba can help, uh, I'll be sharing and what is Toshiba and what is this overall ecosystem? So that is what I'll be sharing today. And uh, let me start with a few slides. So coming to Toshiba, uh, everyone knows uh, Toshiba is a brand. It's a 150 year old company. Uh, has been past, uh, part of a lot of innovations in the past. So as of now, Toshiba has been defined into four different categories. So as on March, we have uh, Mr. Taro Shimada as our president and CEO, and we have four separate uh, uh, business processes. We have electronics devices and storage. We have infrastructure, we have ICT solutions and energy. So under electronics and devices, that's where are the current product, which is relevant, which is the hard drive. And it gives almost 24% uh, of overall uh, uh, revenue to our uh, business in Toshiba uh, Corporation. So if you see out of uh, the overall business, 860 billion yen is the ideal uh, revenue, which is given by storage products and semiconductors. So as on March 2022, we have 116,000. Uh, uh employees across the globe and if you see we as a toshiba as a company spends almost uh, 152 billion n in terms of uh, r d and that's a big amount to keep the innovation going and to have uh, latest products and latest technologies for the customers so in terms of uh, hard drives and semiconductors and materials so we have uh, around 20 22400 employees and uh, this how this is how it's structured. We have high capacity near line drives, enterprise drives. We have analog ICs, power ICs, and some other uh, components. So in terms of production, what Toshiba does is uh, we have uh, three factories. Uh, we have uh, one in uh, Philippines, one in uh, China, and then one in uh, Japan. So Japan usually takes care of the design sales and marketing engineering and everything and the production happens on the uh, uh, on the philippines factory so most of the enterprise drives uh, are manufactured in philippines and some mobile and uh, desktop drives are manufactured in china so in terms of hard drives if you uh, see uh, by in 1990 we had or or i think more than 50 brands and if you see down the line uh, from 1990 up to 2015, there has been a lot of consolidation. There had not been a lot of uh, closure of business. And then finally, from 2015 onwards, there are only three brands, Toshiba and the couple of competitors for us. So there are a lot of mergers happened. Like uh, in our competition, there was uh, Itachi, which merged with uh, WD and so on. So Toshiba has been there for a very long time innovating and getting new technologies in storage. Now, to give you a history of Toshiba hard drive, 
1967, Toshiba started a 14 inch hard drive, which was the size of a refrigerator in 1967. And then if you see in 2004, Toshiba launched world's smallest hard drive, which was 0.85 inch. So then 2018, we launched the world's first 14 terabyte CMR drive. So that was game changing because we reduced the number of platters. The same size was coming in the 14 terabyte as the same size of one terabyte. So that was the kind of change. And now we are talking about 22 terabyte. When it comes to Toshiba hard drives, we have three categories. We have enterprise hard disk category, client hard disk category, and an external hard disk. So today we'll be focusing more on the MG series and uh, AL series, which is more on data center and storage servers. And we also have a surveillance series for the centralized surveillance systems. So what was Toshiba's uh, highlight in uh, by end of 2022 was we shipped around 42.7 exabytes, which is 7.7% year on year growth. We did lot around 31.6 exabytes of near line drives. We shipped around 2.5 million drives, uh, near line drives that is specifically near line drives. And we also did average capacity increased from, uh, I mean, from to, uh, almost 13% quarter on quarter. And then the capacity shipped was 12.5 TB near line average capacity, which is again a big uh, record for internally for Toshiba. In terms of what Toshiba does, where do we supply and where our, our products are used? So we have categorized into four segments. We have categorized into hyperscalers. So uh, hyperscalers are basically uh, Alibaba, Baidu, Google, Facebook. And uh, as of now, there are many other uh, hyperscalers who have been uh, using Toshiba drives and most of their data centers. Again, I would like to highlight this because hyperscalers are where they use their own storage. This concept is very much utilized, uh, build our own storage in these kind of hyperscalers where they have control over the storage. They have they use specifically their own designs in terms of storage and they use a lot of drives uh, from Toshiba. In terms of OEMs, we have uh, partnered with a uh, lot of uh, OEMs who, who manufacture uh, storage systems. Like, for example, we, we have Huawei, we have Inspur, Supermicro, Infotrend, Promise, Lenovo, IBM, NetApp, AIC. So in these, there are a few open source platforms where you can just populate the drives. And in few in uh, out of these, there are a few uh, brands who have their own firmware on Toshiba drive. So, uh, mostly you might see a HP drive, but it might be a Toshiba drive, which has uh, been, which has been altered with their uh, firmware. So that's the kind of difference which you'll see. And then in terms of ODM, we have uh, Foxconn, Inventec, Inventec, Compal, QCT. QCT is also into uh, data storage, uh, like they are into servers and storage and Foxconn. So they are basically laptop and uh, yeah. Uh, desktop manufacturers and in terms of surveillance, we have a strong partnership with uh, uh, high vision. There are many more brands, but uh, I'm just highlighting you the major brands which are existing in this market uh, in Qatar market or maybe in the Middle East market. So high vision, the who are very prominent access Hanwa in terms of enterprise grade Honeywell again in terms of enterprise grade, enterprise grade surveillance solutions. So we are compatible with most of these solutions and most of this uh, NVRs and DVRs. So that's the overall uh, so, I mean, system structured for our partners. Now giving you an overview on the products, we have three separate categories. So we have surveillance S300 and S300 Pro for uh, surveillance specifically. So the capacities range from one terabyte up to 10 terabyte. We have N300 for NAS, uh, your uh, in-house or even uh, uh, SMB kind of segments where you can use from 4 terabyte up to 20 terabyte. So we recently launched the 20 terabyte N300 Pro as well. And then we have MG series, which is uh, which is which starts from uh, 1 terabyte up to 20 terabyte. So the an AL series, which is 10K and 15K RPM drives, which are used in mixed use uh, storage solutions. So just to give you an overview on surveillance, uh, because this is also a very uh, impactful product, which I mean, we're very common product across. 
And why I want to share it with because there are key differences between a surveillance, between a NAS and between a desktop ad drive and an enterprise drive. So I'm just going to share the product and then I'll show you the comparison on how different it is. Uh, this is a surveillance drive S300, which is 5400 RPM from one terabyte to six terabyte. And this can be used in NVRs, your DBRs, hybrid SB, SDBRs and ATM streaming. And it comes with a three years warranty. Now, next we have S300 Pro, which comes in 6, 10, 8, and 10. And this is 7200 RPM. And uh, again, it comes with three years warranty and it works 24 7 and it can give you a 1.1 million M uh, MTTF with three years warranty. So, the key difference between surveillance drive uh, of Toshiba S300 and the competition is that uh, the load unload cycle is double of our competition. So, that gives better. Uh, I mean, better quality, uh, reliability, and low failure rate, and also the maximum data transfer speed is higher. In if you see uh, a 10 terabyte drive gives you 2000 to 237 Mbps, and the competition gives highest is 210 Mbps. So where do we use uh, surveillance and enterprise is into these uh, segments. Uh, we use it in commercial malls. We have transportation. We have pro done projects in transportation segment, business environment, office buildings, logistics. We have a lot of customers where we have done implementation on CCTV. And uh, uh, I think I have a question from Mahmoud. Yes, uh, video production. We use uh, Mahmoud uh, enterprise drives. So. I'll just come to that point and I think we can keep uh, once I finish my presentation, uh, we can just go take a few questions from your side. So I'll give you some more details on that. Okay, thank you. And we also have government and public uh, sector. We have done go projects like uh, even with uh, this we, we have done with a lot of uh, government projects on CCTV and enterprise storage uh, banks. We have done a major banks in Saudi along with the Toshiba drives for the CCTV and storage requirements, hospitals and smart city. So uh, this is one of a case study, which I wanted to share on uh, the CCTV segment where uh, the MG series, which is enterprise drive, as well as S300 drives have been used in the project. So it was a mobile DVR uh, project and a centralized NVR. So most of the trucks have the mobile DVRs, which use the S300 Pro. And once the location, I mean, once the vehicle comes back to the main centralized location, then uh, it uh, it's completely backed up in their NVRs, which is backed up by Toshiba MG series, which is enterprise drives. So this is one of uh, case study with Optima Networks, which we have done. And uh, this is uh, one of the world's largest fulfillment center covering, I think, uh, major uh, uh, Europe, European region. We also have many case studies along with uh, uh, OpenE, uh, our uh, ecosystem partners. We play, a, uh, I mean, OpenE as a company plays a very important role in uh, giving a top end solution on a software uh, defined storage. And uh, we have many case studies which can be shared uh, based on your request, based on uh, whatever queries you have in terms of your uh, requirement. We can give you some case studies and we can share some more details. So we have a short. Uh, time frame for this webinar, which uh, because of which we are not sharing more uh, case studies, but surely in the next slides from uh, OpenE, they will share some some more uh, slides as well. So when it comes to enterprise, we have up to uh, twenty terabyte, which was recently launched. And uh, to answer to Mahmoud's question, these are the drives which can be used for video production, so media and video production for any uh, high density storage. You can use the MG series, which we have done a couple of projects uh, uh, in uh, Middle East with uh, InfoTrend storage, where they have used for media with Promise technology. We have used uh, Toshiba MG series in uh, many projects. Uh, so Dubai Studio City, we have some uh, uh, companies who have used the Toshiba drives MG series, and most of the drives are compatible with the media solutions. So these are the performance drive. We have up to 2.5 terabyte. These are used in mission critical servers, transaction servers, and these come in 2.5 inch and uh, 10K and 15K RPM drives. And we have a special uh, technology called persistent write case, uh, write case technology, which secures the data. And uh, this has a five years warranty. 
So one key difference which I wanted to highlight, why I shared surveillance, why I wanted to share, we have Toshiba desktop drives and enterprise drive, is there is a specific need for every hard drive. And if you see a desktop drive can only give you a rated workload of 55 terabyte per year. After this, the drive doesn't work as a normal uh, requirement because this can only be used in a desktop. For a surveillance, since it's 24 seven and recording density is higher, you can go up to 180 terabyte per year. And if you see our enterprise drive, it can go up to 550 terabyte per year. That is the reason it's called enterprise grade. It has higher reliability and it has higher capacity. And also uh, mean time to failure. The failure of the hard drive is 600,000 hours for a desktop, 1 million hour for surveillance and 1.5 to 2.5 million hours in enterprise. And again, the warranty is also different for each category. We have two years, three years, and five years warranty. So MG series, uh, uh, what is the key advantage? How are we uh, relevant in this market and how we have grown in over these years is because we have uh, something called uh, uh, long tail support that is also there where we have uh, higher capacities in, e in every uh, launch. So for example, uh, MG04, if we had a four terabyte and MG08 still has a four terabyte. So our customers who are using a four terabyte drive will still have access to the latest capacity. So that's how uh, Toshiba has been manufacturing to give uh, to safeguard our customers interest in terms of new products and then EOL products have been uh, still kept in a new form in, in new form. And uh, when it comes to performance improvement, so Toshiba uh, as a company uh, believes that uh, today's data centers have higher power consumption. So what we did was based on our recording technology as when as and when our capacities are increasing, we are reducing our power consumption. So our uh, MG06 series gives 5.6 takes 5.6 watts. Uh, 2.5 million hours is the MDTF. 237 Mbps is the read and write, but the power consumption is 5.6. But at the same time, MG08 series takes only 4 watts per drive, and the MDTF is same and the read and write is much better. So this is a bigger, big advantage for our customers who have been using enterprise because they have been reducing the power, I mean, power consumption. And this can be a very big case study in, uh, especially in Middle East because the power consumption is very key because of the sustainability and the new regulations from the government. And if you see the comparison, I just explained in the previous slide, our 12 terabyte is consuming around 4.25. Four point, and if you see our 16 terabyte consumes four watts per unit and our competition, uh, the capacities are increasing and also the power consumption is increasing. So that's how uh, we uh, are successful in this market and even in the global market in terms of product reliability and quality. This is one case study which I wanted to share. Uh, this is a CERN is a uh, world's largest physics lab and they have been using Toshiba drives, uh, enterprise drives in their solutions. So it's a small video, very interesting video. Please do have a look uh, for just a couple of minutes. Yes. So CERN is the home of the Large Hadron Collider, the largest piece of scientific equipment uh, on the planet. It's a 27 kilometer ring, 100 meters underground, where we collide particles in order to understand the nature of the universe, how it works and what it's made of. The Large Hadron Collider schedule is divided into a series of runs and also periods during which we're able to do upgrades. The first run, which finished at the end of 2013, stored 100 petabytes of data from the collisions. The second run, which finished in 2018, has now pushed that data volume up to 330 petabytes. The challenges of handling this much data, reliably storing it, and then making it available to the physicists has really pushed the limits of IT computing and data management. Toshiba was able to help us sticky on our storage challenges by providing early on high capacity hard drives, which is very helpful for us to run early testing. Our infrastructure in terms of storage capacity has scales well with scientific computing units, making the maximum use of Toshiba's high capacity storage hard drives. A few years ago, we started with hard disks with a capacity point of four terabyte, 
Later on, we increased to 6 terabyte, and today the single hard disk drive has a capacity of 12 terabyte. The upgrade of the LHC infrastructure will require storage technology, which is not yet available on the market. At the moment, we are introducing a 16 terabyte hard disk drive and an 18 terabyte, 20 and 4 terabyte will come. We are particularly interested in working with CERN due to their massive storage amount and also the way how the data is created and analyzed. That helps us to develop hard disk drives and to understand the needs of the future mankind demand for analyzing and storing machine created data. The ability of the ship to deliver thousands of drives representing multiple database capacity on time is critical for the data team and operations. So Sun has a, as a company has been using a uh, drive from uh, MG04 series. Now we have MG10 and uh, they are one of our biggest customers and a testimonial to show that world's largest physics lab has been using Toshiba drive for the reliability. And uh, we have been successful and uh, many more years we want to partner with them and work with them. And thank you. That's from my side from Toshiba Gulf on the hard drive perspective for our ecosystem partners. And I would like to thank Bashar and we, we can move forward with the next presentation. Yeah. Thank you very much. Any Mr. question? In, any questions, Bashar? If we, if we can take it for a couple of minutes. Yes. Sure. If, if anybody have any question related to this uh, presentation, presentation, Mr. Muhammad will be happy to answer anyone. Okay, uh, let's move to the second part. Uh, thanks again, Mr. Muhammad, for being here and for all this valuable information. And now uh, I would like to introduce Mr. Philip and Mr. Rafael, pre-sales engineer at OpenE Data uh, Storage Software, to uh, take this part of uh, webinar. Please. Thank you, Basha. Hello, everyone. We know that you are here today as you are curious about open edge of MDSS and all things storage, but first we would like to briefly introduce our software house. OpenE, a team of talented individuals located in the USA, Europe and Japan, has provided storage management software since 2002. Our licenses have been sold to over 40,000 customers, and this number can be attributed to, among other things, the fact that our software is hardware agnostic. Over the years, we have earned a strong position on the market and formed many successful partnerships with companies such as Toshiba, VMware, or Intel. As it is compatible with the majority of hardware available on the market, those who need both flexibility and reliability will no doubt appreciate our competitive pricing and find that our storage solution is the go-to choice. Over 20 years of experience have allowed us to develop a very flexible and reliable software that can accommodate the needs of any industry. As you can see, new features are added every major release and we are going to continue this trend. Open Edge of NDSS, which is our flagship product, is a ZFS and Linux based data storage software designed for businesses of any size especially for enterprise software-defined storage environments, which supports industry standard protocols such as iSCSI, Fiber Channel, NFS, and SMB. It can be managed via graphical user interface, text user interface, CLI, and REST API, and it is compatible with major, major virtualization hypervisors such as VMware and Hyper-V, and it supports user authentication with LDAP and Active Directory. It can be used to build both single node and high availability environments for small, medium and large enterprises, which we are going to discuss later on in the presentation. We sell a software defined storage solution that can be easily scaled and managed. This enables storage administrators to easily control their storage resources centrally and to deploy storage services using software-defined procedures that automate tasks like data replication 
backup and recovery. Together with Toshiba and Velocity Technology, we are able to deliver a complete ready-to-use solution that will be well tailored to satisfy your needs. Management software with many implemented features, support and consulting services in case of any issues and tr staff training sessions are what we as OpenE offer to our customers. Toshiba will provide you with the enterprise grade HDDs and full support of their hardware pieces. To unify the components we and Toshiba provide, Velocity Technologies serves as a single point of contact and a system builder that will take care of all the necessary deployment steps. Over the years, we have deployed a lot of different storage solutions for many interesting businesses like hospitals, data centers, or cloud providers. To check some examples of the solutions we have provided together with our partners, you can check our case studies and certified servers. Go to our website and find downloads to enter case studies on the right. This section contains various interesting examples of how our software has been deployed so far. You can download the documents as PDF files to find out why Open Engine DSS was selected for a particular project and learn about what makes it perform so well. It has been used by customers from many industries, including media and entertainment and education sector, just to name a few. Open E certified storage servers are available under the product stack. Open Java and DSS delivers software-defined storage, which re results in many different options in regards to hardware, such as capacity, capability, performance range, and connectivity. To ensure robust storage environments and compatibility, all selected partners open, uh, offer Open Java and DSS certified servers, which are tested, benchmarked, and certified by Open e. This way, customers are able to use solutions that require exceptional redundancy and security without compromising performance. This is a great collection of resources if you're after hardware details and you're keen to get an approximate idea of performance in terms of IOPS and throughput achieved on the tested configurations. We have prepared an overview of a use case we delivered together with Toshiba. Our customer technology experience lab at NTT was looking for a scalable and reliable sun solution that would work for them around the clock and have no single point of failure. Together with Toshiba, we have created a reliable solution with outstanding performance and a possibility to scale it up in the future. This system has not failed in over five years, and it is expected to function without problems for many years to come due to a robust combination of our software and Toshiba's hard drives. To understand what makes Open Java and DSS special, we must delve into ZFS, which our software is based on. What is it? It is a file system with volume management capabilities. In other words, it manages how data is stored, retrieved, and how space is allocated on mass storage devices. What makes ZFS particularly interesting in the context of data storage are its multiple safety features. Checksums allow ZFS to constantly check the integrity of the data uh, that is stored. Data corruption is recognized using an algorithm when reading from media, and blocks that are detected as corrupt are automatically repaired. This one functionality allows for a lot of useful functions scrubbing for data integrity, resilvering for disk, restoration, and self-healing for silent data corruption. A product allows to use RAID without any additional hardware controller as it employs a software, a software RAID from ZFS file system. Our, to our tool supports all types of mirror con configurations, very similar to RAID 1 and unique RAID Z configurations, which are alternatives to traditional uh, rates. I would like to emphasize that there is no best and optimal configuration. Each configuration will be good in a certain use case. For very fast storage, you would go with a two-way mirror, while if you need a lot of safety and sustainability, you can go with RAID Z or maybe a four-way mirror. It is important to remember not to mix types of RAID levels in data groups inside your storage pool to keep it consistent 
so it is preferable to keep it simple and use only one type of RAID. If you have any doubts about your configuration, you can contact our engineers and they will be very happy to optimize it on every possible level. Now let me show you what our software looks like. As you can see, I have already configured two storage pools which represent your full storage capacity. Right on the welcome screen, it shows a lot of useful information like available space, the duplication ratio and disk group health. Your entire solution can be managed completely from the software level. For example, creating a storage access device like an iSCSI block device is, a, is as easy as making a few clicks. If you are interested in more advanced option, you can adjust everything to your liking. Of course, it is also very important to constantly monitor your system. Managing your system and diagnosing potential issues is a very intuitive process and all of the critical information is reported under the notification step. Now let's go back to the pool settings and see something interesting. As you may have noticed, I have attached a few disks to my storage that are not going to increase the storage capacity of my pool. Those disks are specific devices which are responsible for caching in our system and significantly improve performance of your storage. ZFS allows us to add additional caching layers that will help you to boost the speed of your data transfer. Write log is an additional disk that will allow you to retain RAM cache data not yet written to your storage in case of a total server failure like power outage, for example. It will also speed up the process of writing your data to the disks. It is good to use write intensive SSDs or NVMEs here as those disks will have to endure many read operations. The additional read cache is an extension of the first layer RAM cache. While RAM stores data that is hot, meaning that it is accessed all the time, the read cache stores warm data that is accessed often, but not as frequently as hot data. For read cache, use disks that are faster than the disks in your pool for the best results. Thanks to those caching mechanisms, you can use enterprise grade HDDs from Toshiba as your main storage, as they offer you the highest storage capacity for the lowest possible cost. After that, you will be able to greatly improve the speed of your storage using SSD or even NVMe write log and read cache disks. You only need a few cache disks to see a huge boost to the performance of your storage. One of the most useful options of our software is the snapshot backup. Snapshots allow the ZFS file system to create lightweight read-only copies of the current state of the file system. They can be seen as a form of backup as they allow you to revert to a previous state of the system. Snapshots are created either on demand or in time intervals and can be stored for as long as you want. And you can always revert to one of those snapshots in case of a disaster. You can even send them to a local or remote open EJOG and DSS location to create a fully fledged backup solution. A remote backup node can even be overseas. This complete backup solution is called on and offsite data protection. Here, you create snapshots on your local production machine, send them to a local backup node, and additionally, you send them to another location for maximum safety. Such a configuration keeps you safe from virus attacks, system failures, human errors, natural disasters, server thefts, and many more possible threats. Let's jump to the next topic, which is our architectures. As you can see, OpenEngine and DSS supports many configurations that involve either a single node or a two node cluster. We support single nodes, single nodes with JBot, shared storage with one or more JBots connected through SAS cables or fiber channel, and non shared or metro configurations where servers are connected through a mirroring path and even several cluster in a box solutions. Non-shared or metro is especially worth singling out as you can create a cluster between two separate locations. You can take the other node to even another city 
given that they are still connected in the network and latency is low, it will be a completely functional cluster. The only caveat here is that you have to use a two-way or a four-way mirror, uh, but you can also pair it with a layer of hardware rate uh, to have a very fast and reliable solution. We would like to emphasize that our software is constantly evolving and our talented developers are working to suit all your needs and uh, of our current and future customers. With each release, we add new features. For instance, in the version up 29 R2, we added RDMA protocol support for a mirroring path connection, SSD trim, and uh, support for self-encrypting drives. To be up to date with our releases, please follow our blog and YouTube channel. If you happen to have any questions or doubts regarding our product, please contact us and we will be very happy to assist. If you are interested in deploying a software solution, our sales representative Patrick, together with our partners from Toshiba and Velocity Technologies, will guide you through and make it as easy as possible. Okay, thank you very much. Thank you very much, Mr. Philippe, and uh, to Mr. Rafael and, and uh, backstage. Uh, and to you all, I sincerely appreciate your attention today. In case uh, anybody have any questions, uh, we can answer it as well before ending uh, this session. As uh, Mr. Philippe uh, said, you can always reach us uh, for more information or inquiries. Thanks, everyone. And uh, if there is uh, one thing I would like you to remember from today's webinar, it's uh, data growth is never ending. So better find the proper, proper way to handle it. Thank, thank you. Thank you very much. Thank you. Thank you, everyone. Thank you for joining. Um, please reach out to us. Uh, Bashar will be there from uh, Qatar side, from in the Qatar available for any qu queries. And we, as from Toshiba and Opani, uh, you have the contact details. You can always reach out to us. And even if you have a short uh, requirement, a small requirement, just to understand how this works, then we can give you a practical example on how you can build your own storage. So it's a start just to give you what is what is this concept, but we can make it uh, more uh, uh, we can more get develop more things and give you we share you more details so that you are in a better position to decide on how to develop or build your own storage. So this is the basic idea of this uh, session webinar and it's a start and uh, moving forward we'll have much more in detail approach we will have more case studies, so you can always reach out to us to uh, understand what are these concepts and how we can help. And from Toshiba's side, uh, we can help you in terms of hardware, which is the hard drive uh, on the enterprise and surveillance and open e team can support you on the overall software defined storage concepts. And I think uh, open e also has some, uh, I think uh, Patrick or uh, uh, Philip can share that you also have some trainings which uh, anyone can take it to understand the software defined storage from OpenE, right? Uh, correct, correct. So if you go to our website, uh, we have uh, a free training uh, for anyone who is interested in understanding the basics of uh, ZFS. And uh, if uh, any one of you is already familiar with, uh, with uh, some of the uh, concept, then we can also provide you a separate uh, a separate live demo uh, regarding some more advanced uh, options in in our software we can show you how 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 you can uh, how you can um, uh, configure uh, everything and and uh, we will be very happy to provide such a session for you yeah i think that's it from our side thank you so much thank you for uh, the time and we look forward to see you and uh, wait for your feedback or any queries which you have. And uh, have a nice day. Thank you. Thank you, Mr. Muhammad. Have a nice day, everyone.